Alrighty guys, I just wanted to uh, quickly make a video about pretty much my opinions on what would be the best ascendancy for 3.9, why I picked it and sort of just what makes it so dominant over other sort of ascendancies. A lot of what it comes down to is next league is going to be all about sort of clear speed and bossing. So you're going to need like a good mid-tier build that's not particularly, you know, the best at doing either one, but like one that can scale very easily, very cheaply. You know, it doesn't need the highest top end, but it does need to be able to map, you know, reasonably quick and still be able to boss very, very, you know, reliably. And my pick for this, rather than, you know, go a ranger like everyone else seems to think would be a good idea, rangers have horrible defenses half the time and, and that there's still plenty more problems with range. But anyway, digress. My pick for this is Assassin. Assassin literally gets pretty much 60% movement speed for free, just off the Ascendancy alone. Gets Mistwalker, great defense. Uh, pretty defensive for what it is as well. Get dodge, power charges. And it also has like a very low ceiling opportunity cost to basically make this class or Ascendancy work. Ultra cheap. And um, I just want to sort of describe to you what that is. So like right now, you know, I leveled all the storms. This is obviously something I'm planning to do next league, provided that there's no nerfs or anything like that. Sort of the main thing I want to go into is like you literally need kind of two items and you're ready to go. Like ignore the you know, all the Brotherhood and stuff like that. This badge of the Brotherhood actually OP as. I'm actually really surprised what this does. So just allows you to get frenzy charges along with power charges as you're an assassin. Incredibly, you know, easy to get power charges. You know, you just go look at your standard tree, you just grab this one. This one, this one, boom, you're up to seven. Not very difficult. And then you can get that in Frenzy Charges. But what that actually looks like, you know, in game performance is like, you go from a very small amount of damage, I'm just going to quickly show you here in uh, Blood Aqueduct. So you go from a very, very small amount of damage to a lot, really, really quick. So we're at, you know, 36k right now. But when I actually get running, sorry, I've sort of lost my muscle memory, but I'll make this quick. And look at that, like that instant movement speed. That's without a flask, by the way. So this is it with flask on. This can get a lot faster if you, you know, pair in your smoke mine on top of it and then just keep getting faster. Sort of see my clear speed keep picking up if you keep up your smoke mines. But then ultimately, right, once we actually get moving, that's pretty much, that actually has like over tripled my DPS. That's just off frenzy and power charges and just the ascendancy alone. So you get four times the damage pretty much, or triple, whatever you want to call it, you know, to make up for your sort of whatever your build's doing. Just off frenzy and power charges alone. Even if you're on a ship build, like I've I've literally got Orb of Storms on this awful five link. You know, this isn't maximum damage at all. These are the wrong links I might add as well. The Orb of Storms is 21, probably something you're not quite gonna have, but like you're still quadrupling your DPS. Like it's it doesn't matter what you really throw into it. All the storms is also like a, you know, as you can see, I had chain on there. I've geared this towards clearing faster, you know what I mean? Like, very, very easy to do. Quadruple your DPS just off of these two items alone. So you get, you literally just pick it, pick an assassin. You get 60% movement speed. You get increased effective elusive, so it's actually a little bit higher, even though it fluctuates and stuff like that. And then you get 20% movement speed whenever you kill something, which is insane. So this thing's got fantastic clear speed no matter what you do. I'm sure you guys have seen like the multiple variants of this. You know what I mean? Um, you've got the, the Blade Vortex version of this. You've got Cast on Crit Ice Nova. You've got a whole bunch of builds that you can quite easily make. But the thing for me that really, really sort of solidifies this as a, a fantastic league start and stuff like that is you just get these two items and you can do tier 15 maps. So I actually just uh, tested this. Uh, uh, not well, I might add, uh, but the two items, and that's it. Like, the rest of these things here, I just, like, re life and resistance gear. Shit that I found that I threw together. None of this is, like, be all end all. This is literally something I found that I was trying to sell earlier on. Just happened to have it, so I'm like, okay, let's throw it in. You know what I mean? Like, uh, we'll just... uh, no regen and Ellie Reflect. I actually can't do that. Still got restrictions on mods, so that's one thing. Uh, temp chains are... Don't want to run it. Like these flasks aren't actually rolled properly either. So I actually don't have an anti warding one. Uh, early weakness should be fine. I'm, po I'm positive that's fine. It should be. I haven't actually looked, but for the most part, you know, 
Probably gonna get one shot out of like ultra low defenses. Like I said, this is all slapped together gear. I was just trying to test how quickly you could just get to get to maps as long as I cap out my reses. A little bit of a slow start. Notice, like I wasn't just instantly one shotting old mate. And then we sort of get to the point where in tier 15 map, with literally one investment, oh, this is like level 83 or whatever it is. Bang, we're already, you know, sort of off to the races here. This can be improved upon heaps. Like obviously, you would want void batteries on top of this, you know what I mean? Like if you could get void batteries and Cosprey's Malice or whatever build you're trying to plan to do, like Orb of Storms is quite literally my league starter. It's just to get to maps assuming it doesn't get nerfed. Ooh. Really bad player, of course. And then, you know, if I need to, we put the Storm Blast Mines in. But like Orb of Storms is going to clear everything. On a 5 link, with the wrong links, with all that stuff, it shatters everything. It's literally got enough damage on a terrible 5 link. And then if I need more damage, like... That's just me with Stormblast Mines there. God forbid you should actually throw your Lightning Spire. These are all on four links, by the way, and they're all on, like, sub-optimal links. Like, this was literally just, like, if I was to slap together gear, how fast could I go? Could I do tier 15 maps? Currently, anyway. Like, I know there's a whole bunch of uh, balance changes coming in. But I think the big thing that I just want to sort of illustrate is, like, if you just get these items, just, sorry, I should just say get that one item, and play this Ascendancy, you probably have what is so awful at this game. Probably what is the most reliable class or ascendancy right now for the next league. I just want to quickly just put out a portal because I'm gonna, probably going to fuck this up. So bad at it. Uh, this is what I mean. Like fully scuffed player, I might add. Like I'm awful at this game, and even I can just sort of. I really should be dodging. See, I told you I was a bad player. I literally should have just thrown down my trap properly. That's why I haven't played this character in a, in a fair bit, I might add, as well. I just do it the way I should, which is throw down the lightning trap, lightning spire, or whatever it is. Oof. Done. Tier 15 map. Uh, obviously, this would sort of struggle at, like, Shaper and Guardians and stuff like that. You can fix that up however you like. Like, I would actually recommend that this is just your starter build to get you... To Shaper as quick as possible, you know what I mean? Like, obviously you can do Guardians if you're not an awful player like me. I didn't even use uh, Frostbite during all that. I'm also doing early Conversion, but, like, the idea is... This is probably going to be the only expensive part. The Carcass Jack doesn't really do that much. You know what I mean? Like, it's nice to have. Convenient. Aside from that, it doesn't really, doesn't really offer me a lot. You know what I mean? Like, a little bit of increased damage... I just happen to have one of these lying around, and I'm like, that's probably going to be a good placeholder. Like, you can get an Impulses on top of this. You can do whatever you want, scale your damage, and just come out with an overall better build. But, one item, scuffed links, whatever you want. Only a 5 link, I might add. Tier 15 maps. You get, like, I, this has literally got my Orb of Storms in it, just because, like, I want it for the clear. If I actually had, like, proper Void batteries and stuff, it would be on a 4 link. And my actual trap and mine thing would be in here. My actual trap. And that would allow boss killing to be a thousand times easier. Could probably do Shaper, could probably do Uber Elder. Especially if I wasn't a shit player, you know what I mean? So, next league, you know, you're looking for something that can do boss killing. You're looking for something that can do speed. Assassin does all of that with one item investment. Thanks to Blight staying in the game, this is actually still going to be in the game. To what degree, I don't know. But, um, it just makes it pretty convincing argument that I would just recommend like what well, at best this thing's currently 90c or something like that for a, you know an uncorrupted version I would literally say that all you would need is this one item a couple of levels uh maybe the call of the brotherhood if you really wanted to play those sort of shenanigans depends on what you want to pick and then like whatever weapons you want preferably like void batteries or something like that uh cost breeze whatever you want and this will entirely get your build up and running Whatever build it is, just give it four times the damage that it needs. Scuffed. If you can get a six link, even better. I'm sure a lot of you are going to be running Tabula Rasa. Chances are you can go all the way to tier 16 maps. It's this one item. And even if this was to cost, you know, three exalts at the start of the league, honestly probably worth it because then you're done. Like your build can actually do the rest of the content in the game. And you'll be doing it quickly. Like I know that that was uh, me playing awful. I wasn't using my smoke mine. I wasn't using it how I optimally do. I haven't got the muscle memory because I haven't been playing this character. Basically leveled it up real quick and I've been practicing Orb of Storms leveling. But then I just wanted to quickly, you know, get myself to maps, say how cheaply could I make this? So, you know, 
You literally just replace this with a tabula rasa, so you've got more damage, and this this exact same item. And you can fucking throw away these calls of the Brotherhood, you don't need this shit, you know what I mean? Uh, preferably just, you know, get your reses and stuff, like... Apparently didn't even have fire res, which is probably why I got one shot. Uh, didn't know that. Haven't really looked at my character. Don't, you know, just don't do what I just did, basically. And you'll be fine. I literally could just swap around these resistances, I don't know why I haven't. Um... You know, it just goes to show that you can do 100% better than me. This is all scuffed, throwing together gear. I'm just testing things. And if you ask me, in my opinion, next league, don't play a ranger. Ranger's going to be shit. A lot of people are going to be playing it. There's going to be a, a million different rangers out there. I would recommend an assassin. I really would. The trees are all virtually the same. Like, you're going to path out here somewhere. You're probably going to grab either one of these because chances are you're playing some sort of element thing. Uh, you can go for crit relatively early, like I'm 83, this is enough crit to actually get me the ball rolling, you know what I mean? The ascendancy helps. Uh, you get a decent amount of life, like obviously I've got a scuffed amount. Uh, most of these builds can do phase acro if you really want. You can you can do this slightly differently if you want, you can go for more damage by far, like come up here and do Herald of Thunder or whatever you want, the Heart of Thunder. Doesn't really matter, like you've got so much flexibility and the ascendancy has so much damage for such little like entry cost, it's not funny. I think the only thing maybe I'd be worried about is how many of these are going to be available at the start of the league. Like, obviously Blight's put down a 10%, it's no longer a guaranteed drop, but there will be one of these probably within the first two days. You know what I mean? I don't, I don't know what sort of players this you know, there to help. I mean, maybe this is just for like a mid-tier player, more so than a beginner who's not even going to get to sort of the map red maps at that sort of stage, but if you're a mapper, I would, I would definitely be on the lookout for this. If you can get a badge of the Brotherhood on the first day, Man, you're laughing. Like, you're just done. That's your whole build done. You can get a tabula rasa, a badge of the Brotherhood. As long as you're playing an assassin, that's pretty much triple your damage. And that's all you need to hit red tier maps. Uh, presumably, you're a better player than me. With, like, not scuffed gear, not scuffed links. You get a six link. Life gets even easier. You're probably doing your uber elder on that first day. You know what I mean? Like, you could do so much better than me. A lot easier than me. Like, this, this v uh, vessel of vintage may be like, oh, I won't be able to get that day one shit it doesn't add that much damage it really doesn't like uh what is it right now i can't even tell uh so you know i can't even show you hold on get back here so this thing's like 36k 37 38 whatever it barely adds anything what does add it add stuff is the power charges and the frenzy charges Long story short, hopefully that wasn't too long. Uh, I know I ramble a lot and I sort of digress from the point. I want to do this in one take really, really quick because I've got a lot of things going on I want to get back to today. Uh, long story short, Assassin is probably the best ascendancy for next league. There's a million different uh, builds for it as well, you know. There's a Volatile Dead cast on crit. A lot of cast on crit builds I might add. So I'm literally just going to pick whichever one's got the cheapest weapons. The thing is, I'm not really worried about weapons or what I can get day one, because like, oh yeah, I might be able to buy two void batteries and stuff like that. That's that's pretty good for power. You know what's better than both of those combined? This. This item right here. Super busted. Like a... Got a... It looks really inconspicuous, I suppose, man, but like, after actually testing this, I'm like... I had a, an Owl's Uprising that was insane, uh, you know. Uh, I got it somewhere. I can't even remember where I put it. Yeah, testy boy. Maybe I don't have it here anymore. Um, but basically, it's an Owl's Uprising that basically uh, allows me to use the, the Wrath Aura for free and stuff like that. I fit that in the build. It still wasn't as much damage. It just wasn't, you know what I mean? So, like, an Owl's Uprising, something I would probably not get. It still cost me, like, uh, 8 Exalt at this point of the league, so I'm sure it's going to be a lot more at the start of the game. Even that didn't compare in comparison to this i think people are really sleeping on this hopefully someone you know marks these down super low if they do man snap it up snap it up as quick as you can if someone gets lucky and they're doing blight content and this thing drops man only gonna go for a few exalts i would actually recommend that people you know purchase this item if you're if you've got an assassin because then you're just able to run through the rest of the content no matter your links you know what i mean no matter what you got scuffed as your build might be calls of the brotherhood are nice they don't really do that much but like this thing will add a lot of damage and a lot of value to your builds. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, you know, like, subscribe, all that jazz. Uh, later.